man, I know you recognize that as some classic Saint heavy metal. Pastor Brad here. Thanks for tuning in to learn more about the Reshredded Project. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to Richard Lynch and D. Harrington of Saint for being part of this project. And thank you to Richard for sitting down and talking with me about it. i got to tell you, when I first became a Christian, the first metal CD I ever bought was Time's End by Saint back in 1987. So this is an especially cool moment for me to have these guys playing with me. Thank you to John Hooper. Thank you to Joe Narduli and Jim Griffin and Andy England and David Jacob, the other players on this project who are phenomenal players in their own right. Uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to drop in some, some samples from Reshredded and also some classic Saint riffs. So be sure to listen for those. And uh, hey, let's get on with the interview. It's go time. All right, it is such an honor to have both you and Dee on this project, along with the other guys who are playing on it. And I just want to start by saying thank you, Richard, for being part of this reshredded project. Hey, Pastor Brad, I'd like to thank you for the opportunity to be able to come and play. Uh, Dee and I had such a great time doing that. Uh, you know, it was in the middle of doing the mark that we started working on this project, and it was, you know, it was kind of like a sweet, sour thing because I was so busy doing that, and but yet I wanted to have this this great, you know, guitar jam thing that you're doing happen as well. This, you know, and and we, I did, I had a blast. You stop it, man! You're freaking me out. Man, what an honor it is to have someone who would be considered, in my eyes, a, a hero in metal and in in the faith say it was a blast to jam with you that i'm honored thank you so much for for that richard let's talk about reshredded obviously i love it i'm proud of it but i want to hear from you you know in your opinion who's going to love this disc who's going to get into this <laughs> Well, you know, I think that the whole uh, 80s uh, guitar jam out thing, I mean, you, everybody's going to like this. Anybody who likes talent, anybody who likes, you know, riffing guitars and, and 80s style heavy metal is going to dig this. I mean, it's a great project. Uh, you got some really excellent talent on there. And I just don't see how anybody is going to dislike this project. I think it's awesome. <laughs> What more can I say? What more can I add to that? Thank you, man. That is that is that blesses me so much. Let's talk about live shows and Saint. Is there any chance that Saint will show up this side of the Mississippi anytime in the future and do a live show? And if that happens, what are the chances that I can get up there and jam with you? What a blessing that would be. Well, you know, we'd love to play a show in the Midwest. I think that it would be a lot of fun to be able to do that. And uh, most certainly we would have to have Pastor Brad play with us during this. Uh, we'd, I, I mean, I want you to play the whole show. So you'd have to learn every song. Um, it would be a lot of fun, I promise. How fun would that be? That'd be cool. Well, we'll see if that can happen. That'd be extremely fun. Uh, Richard, I, I want to get serious just for a minute, and I want to tell you that I have seen Jesus in you. I have seen Christ's Spirit in you and D. Your attitudes have been awesome, and uh, I can just tell you love the Lord, and that it's about more than just music for you guys. So I want to talk about how Reshredded can be used by God to touch people's hearts for the kingdom. 
uh, it's an instrumental mostly, but you know there are little there are little lyric parts, little voice parts that are dropped in that just kind of remind us that God is good and that He loves us. So talk for just a minute about how you think God might use Reshredded to touch people with His love. Again, I'd like to say that, you know, it was, it's been more of a privilege for me to be able to perform on the project um, than anything. Uh, I was flattered that you actually asked, you know, myself and and uh, Dee to, to do the performances that are on there. I mean, we, we're, we're coupled with a lot, you know, a lot of talent. There was a lot of pressure. Um, I only wish I could have personally did a better job. Um, and, you know, I... I really see that in, in what you got here and what you're doing and the way you present things, you know, there's not a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of lyric, but your little blurbs and your little, uh, like thought provoking comments that are, that are laced in and out of the projects, they really do make you want to, you know, that they, they focus you back to, to what this project and all your projects are about, and that's Jesus. And, you know, I mean, for me, that's number one. Uh, if, if it wasn't, you know, about Jesus, if it wasn't about the gospel message, I wouldn't play music. I, you know, that's just the way it is. I've had a lot of opportunities to go out and, and perform in the mainstream arena. But, I, you know, God gave me the talent that I have, uh, and so he gets all the glory for everything I do. And I, I certainly wouldn't want to, to take and, and trample his, his graciousness and, and his, his love to me that he, he gave me when he gave me the talent. Because believe me, without him, there is no talent here. Um, I wouldn't want to put that aside and, and trample him under. So, you know, I'm with you and I, I really admire what you're doing. Mm. Thanks a lot, Richard. I really very much sincerely appreciate that. And uh, we're kind of drawing to a close here, so I just want to give you a chance to share any closing comments you might have with folks who are out there listening. And uh, thanks again for being part of this project. Well, you know, this is a great opportunity to help Pastor Brad out and and buy his, his, his whole complete book his whole catalog of of projects this this is you know he's going to go out and he's going to spread the gospel he's going to tell people about jesus and in the meantime you're going to have a tool as well to to do the same thing he's doing he's doing all the work all you got to do is play the tunes and uh tell your friends you know hey this is pastor brad he rocks and oh by the way jesus loves you i mean it's it's pretty much that simple i think that if if you really jump on board with this you're going to find out it that it's a great tool and it's a great way to bless Pastor Brad and it's a great way and most importantly to to worship and bless the Lord. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to that interview. Thanks again to Richard for being part of it and to everybody else who was part of this project. I'm honored. I know I've said that a bunch of times but I really am to be part of this with all of you. One more time, I just want to say thanks for listening, man. I just wanted to add this little recording onto the end. Say thanks for listening, and thank you again to Richard and, and Dee and all the guest artists who were part of uh, Reshredded all those years ago. It's crazy for me to think that it's been that long since we recorded that back in 06, 2006. Wow. But, um, hey, man, I, I hope that the interview was a blessing to you and an encouragement to you. Let me invite you to connect with uh, the whole Pastor Brad ministry. If you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to subscribe, leave a comment, share all those good things. I always read the comments. Would love to hear from you. Uh, other places you can check out the music and the ministry are at uh, guitarjams.net. Of course, you can look up Pastor Brad on Spotify. would love to have you uh, follow me over there. Facebook.com forward slash Pastor Brad Rocks. Or uh, my whole catalog is up at Bandcamp at uh, PastorBradRocks.net. All right, man. Have an awesome day. Keep looking up. Follow Jesus, man. Love him. He loves you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.